one person can make a difference in the community, in the state, in the world. Back in 1909, Dr. Lawrence C. Jones founded Piney Wood School as a way to educate the head, the heart, and the hands of Mississippi children. The head, the heart, and the hands. Now that philosophy remains the same. And everything else has changed. Almost a century later, Piney Woods remains as one of only four historically African-American boarding schools left in the nation. Today, students come from all walks of life and from all over the world. Here you'll find young people from New York, D.C. and Los Angeles, as well as from rural Mississippi and Alabama. Some of them come from as far away as Ethiopia. They're young people from poverty-prone rural areas and young people from inner city regions where drugs and violence extinguish dreams. But they're also the children of doctors, lawyers, and ambassadors. They all have one thing in common, a burning desire to excel, to make their lives extraordinary. Well, all you have to do is look at any television newscast or glance at the headlines of any newspaper, and you'll find evidence that today's youth are headed for perdition. They're hedonistic, materialistic, and violent. But I'm here to tell you a more positive story about today's young people. Located 21 miles south of Jackson, Mississippi, in a thicket of pines, the Piney Wood School bustles with the energy and enthusiasm of 300 college-bound students. Serving grades 9 through 12, Piney Woods provides a safe haven for students to pursue academic, moral, and spiritual excellence. Student fees are based on family income. The school sits on 2,000 acres of managed timberland with a 60-acre main campus and a 500-acre teaching farm. Well, it was beneath the cedar tree on this spot in 1909 where it all began. This is where Dr. Lawrence Jones agreed to teach a young barefoot boy how to read. Dr. Jones had come to Mississippi from Iowa with the express purpose of teaching the children of poor black farmers. He had with him a Bible and a dollar and 65 cents. Years later, a tornado destroyed the original tree and a student planted the new one in its trunk. Today, that tree stands as a symbol of the indomitable spirit of Piney Woods as it approaches its centennial. Well, this is what Dr. Jones moved to next after leaving the shade of the cedar tree. It's an old log sheep shed. This was the first schoolhouse. For decades now, it's been encased in brick and under a tin roof to preserve the humble origins of Piney Wood School. In 1954, Dr. Jones appeared on This Is Your Life when host Ralph Edwards asked each viewer to send one dollar to the school. Are there one million of you in our vast television audience tonight who will put a dollar bill in an envelope right now and mail it to Dr. Jones, Piney Woods, Mississippi. Dr. Jones, Piney Woods, Mississippi. The overwhelming response raised $700,000. When you look around the campus today, you find a modern 21st century living learning center in a dynamic environment. Amenities include a new library, pools, gymnasium, exercise room, cafeteria, bed and breakfast quarters, seven picturesque lakes, recreation room, and recently renovated dormitories. But the old coexist with the new in a surprising juxtaposition on the historic campus. Iowa Hall has served as a dining hall, a dormitory, and even a laundry. Newly renovated, it will soon open as a senior girl's dorm. This was Dr. Jones' home. Uh, it was built by the students here at Piney Woods. Uh, today, it houses the Piney Woods Museum. Inside, you'll find original furnishings. There's international collections in there. And all sorts of autographed books by famous writers like uh, Marian Anderson and Margaret Walker. And one volume by poet Paul Lawrence Dunbar. In it, he gives his best wishes to Dr. Jones and adds, thanks for the greens. 
In recent years, Piney Woods has garnered international acclaim, appearing in U.S. News and World Report as one of the top ten boarding schools in the nation, and selected again for their 2005 issue, Preparing for College. In 2000, a student from Piney Woods was one of ten technology-savvy youngsters in the nation profiles in Forbes magazine as the next generation of superstars. In 2004, the Cotton Blossom Singers traveled to South Africa to perform by special invitation at the country's Racial Reconciliation Day and celebration of the end of apartheid. Visitors to the campus have included Helen Keller, Oprah Winfrey, Morgan Freeman, Arthur B.B. Moore Campbell, and former Ambassador Andrew Young. Beloved cartoonist Charles Schultz, creator of Charlie Brown and the Peanuts cartoon, was a longtime Piney Woods supporter. Snoopy Hall is his most visible contribution. People are drawn to this campus because there's a kind of magic here. You can see it in the faces of the students who hold open doors for visitors and address adults as ma'am and sir. You can see it in the fact that each year, 98% of graduating seniors from Piney Woods go on to some of the most prestigious colleges and universities in the country, including Princeton, Vanderbilt, Penn State, Morehouse, Oberlin, Fisk, Duke, Tuskegee, Michigan State, Columbia, Spelman, and Tougaloo. Why is that? What does Piney Woods have that countless other public schools across the country don't? What's the special magic in the heart, heads, and hands tradition? And finally, what's the centennial vision that makes Piney Woods unique? At Piney Woods, Academic pursuits are paramount to the school's dynamic living learning environment. It's patterned after the African proverb, it takes a village to raise a child. Caring faculty and staff, many of whom live on campus, take time to bond with students. Small classes ensure that students receive individual attention. An innovative peer tutoring program provides any student who falls behind with the tools necessary to succeed. Learning occurs outside the classroom, as well as within. The halls and grounds are alive with the students' enthusiasm for their studies and their lives. Let's take a look at some of the classes and activities offered. State-of-the-art computer laboratories where students design websites. A new radio station will provide students with hands-on broadcasting experience. 21st century satellite technology partnering with nearby Jackson State University and Mississippi ETV that provides opportunities for students to learn foreign languages, engage with global leaders on global issues, and interact with youths a world away. Piney Woods corporate partners provide sponsorship and leadership for students in the areas of entrepreneurship, physical responsibility, and even robotics. The 500-acre farm and surrounding forests provide an opportunity for students to experience the classroom without walls learning style that makes Piney Woods unique. Bioengineering and genetics are taught with hands-on activities. Environmental studies have included developing nature trails, analyzing soil samples, and creating an anaerobic digester, a device that converts swine waste into energy the famous Cotton Blossom singers once traveled the United States singing spirituals. They continue to preserve these cultural jewels, but these days you're just as likely to hear them singing a Mozart concerto. Photojournalism classes where students gain real world experience by shooting pictures and writing news stories to accompany them. In an era where no one seems to expect very much of young people, Piney Wood students are expected to strive for academic and personal excellence. In a time when no one appears to want to claim responsibility for much of anything, Piney Wood students are expected to act responsibly and to be accountable for their actions. They view the opportunity to live and learn in a caring and supporting atmosphere as a privilege. The atmosphere here is electric with possibilities. No one asks if a student is going to college. They ask which college. But remember, Piney Woods educates not only the head, but the heart and hands as well. 
The Heart of the School is a spiritual program that permeates all areas of the campus. Lessons on values, ethics, and compassion come alive for the students in so many ways and expands to encompass the surrounding community with programs like Tornadoes at Work, a community service group that takes on projects from tutoring community children to feeding shut-ins and joins with Habitat for Humanity to rebuild storm-ravaged homes. And like the Village Elders program that once every summer transforms the campus into an international community where the young learn from the old and vice versa. Social responsibility is a core value at Piney Wood School. These are values that the students take back with them to their community. And finally, Piney Woods educates the hands. Each student, regardless of economic background, must work 10 hours a week to help offset tuition costs, with a variety of available opportunities spanning from farm, office, daycare, and classroom. Far from just a job, these work sites promote responsibility and a strong work ethic. At commencement, almost a century ago, students were required to demonstrate the work skills they learned. Everything from shoeing a horse to building a house. And that tradition remains. Prior to graduation, seniors must present a detailed public presentation on a chosen subject. But today, those presentations encompass topics from global warming to aeronautical engineering. Almost 100% of these graduating seniors go on to college with the goal of improving society. They pursue their dreams as teachers, artists, international humanitarians, FBI agents, and leaders of government, all the while practicing their Piney Woods teaching to be a useful member of the global community. So beyond national recognition, it's the success of the students at Piney Woods that's the legacy of this school and has been and will be for generations to come. Well, in my case, Piney Woods is my home because I'm away from home, you know, and this is just where I feel like I belong, you know, I do everything here. I live here, I work here, and this also school is just a place where I become what I want to become in life. It's a place where it's going to make me who I'm, who I'm going to be in life. This is where I'm going to learn how to be a man in life. That's Piney Woods for me. Piney Woods is a place of somewhere where you can get away from what they may call the real world. Explain. It prepares you for what's out there. I think if I hadn't gone to Piney Woods that maybe I wouldn't be ready for what I'm about to face after graduation. I think the Piney Woods School is a place of a long-standing legacy of academic excellence, of higher standards, uh, a place where students are challenged to be the very best that they can be. That stands in stark contrast to a lot of uh, the situations that we see nationwide uh, with many schools, specifically public schools across the country, uh, where we've seen a spike in, um, in violent crimes and we see all sorts of issues going there that we simply don't find at the Pinewood School. I believe that's primarily due to higher standards. That's the, uh, I believe that's the hallmark of the Piney Wood School. I don't think you can use one word to describe the Piney Wood School. Extraordinary, stupendous, challenging, amazing. You could choose one. Mississippi's past is often shrouded by the shadows of racism and violence. Piney Woods represents a different legacy, one we can be proud of. And for the future, Piney Woods hopes to complete Iowa Hall and to open it as a senior girls dorm New initiatives in global learning, leadership, and community service will forge new connections between the students and the global community. Another exciting new concept would create the Piney Woods School Science and Mathematics Center for Excellence. The center would provide new teaching skills and techniques for Mississippi instructors to strengthen science and math education. The survival of our society and the success of our nation depend upon our children becoming responsible citizens who can make a difference in a rapidly changing world. Building on a 100-year-old dream, Piney Woods provides a model for schools hoping to develop a new paradigm of holistic education, transforming the world 
through the Piney Wood Centennial Vision. And that Piney Wood Centennial Vision is simply this, that one person can make a difference in their community, in their state, and in the world. Am I right? You're right!